And here's where the review really starts. That's right, welcome back to another Reality Check Tech Review. Today, we're looking at electronic rideables again. One of my favorite things, actually. We've got the DYU electronic bicycle right here. It's a fully framed, uh, fully framed bicycle. It allows you to, you know, cut it in half with the, with the simple mechanism right here. You can just fold it and you can put it in your car or store it really, really easily. Uh, it, it's nice for on the go, but what I like it for is the nice ease of use here in the, uh, in a place where you need to either have a car most of the time or an electrical rideable is something that's a nice solution, especially here in the Florida area or if you're in any major city of any kind. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look right here. I've had this for just about uh, almost two weeks now and I've had a chance to ride it around, uh, take it on trips for about 10 miles back and forth. Uh, and I can say so far, it's done really, really well and I've had a good time with it. So the bicycle itself weighs right around 47 pounds and has a 16 inch hub. As for the performance of the bicycle, it has an 18 mile range or a 30 kilometer range. It can go uphill at about 15 degrees and it can run right around 24 miles if you're using the pedal assist mode, which means you've just got the electricity on, but you're not actually engaging the throttle at all. It's just gonna be something that's going to be working while you're pedaling along in the bicycle, which feels pretty cool. And if you've ever ridden one of those bicycles in the cities or in like Venice Beach, where they have the electricity built into the bicycles, it's gonna feel a little bit like that. Also, it does have an, a rating of IP54 for the waterproof level, and the riding speed is right around 20 kilometers, which is about 15 miles per hour. The rated voltage is 36 volts, and the charging time is right around four hours. Of course, it has all the things you'd expect a bicycle to have, such as, you know, pedals, a, a, a chain, a, the, the, the back piece that you can add like a little seat on, or you, there's a few add-ons I saw on the website which are pretty cool. It does have the basket, which uh, you'll notice I'll put it on the inside because I actually like it on the inside more than the outside, but you can take it off really, really easily. As you can see, I can simply just got these little hooks right there, right? You can simply just pull it, pull it off. It comes off really easy. So yeah, we've got the basket that we can pull off with it. And, and yeah, overall, just a really, really nice build. So far, like I said, I've only had it for about two weeks, so I'm gonna have to do an update video here very, very soon to show you exactly what happens after we try it even longer. But so far, the quality, it looks like I haven't even ridden it yet. Looks like it looks like nothing's even, looks like nothing's even gone on. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, keep testing it out and keep checking out what's really, really cool, specifically about this bike, more so than some of the future ones that we're gonna try out on the channel. Uh, also, it does have the disc brakes, so if you're wondering, how does it stop? How does it stop? Yeah, there's disc brakes on the front and the back, so you've got the ability to stop very, very easily, nice and convenient. So, yeah, I'm super happy about this. I want to get my uh, my five-year-old son riding it once he, uh, once he graduates from his other bicycle. We're going to try to get him on the electrical rideable. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until uh, until next time, if you have any questions specifically about this bike, if you want to know anything about you know what it's like to ride one of these or any questions about getting involved in right the rideable world, just, just send a message. Feel free to put a comment below and uh, I'll be happy to answer those. So see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.